I hope I hope I don't actually have like the DFE audience or anything. I hope I don't have unicorns. I'm your little sister, you sick fuck. I'm your little sister, you freak. Sorry, Polly, you're fucking dead, kiddo. Sorry, it's one child versus five people. It doesn't matter if she wants to become a doctor. There's no guarantee she will actually become a doctor. She could end up on fucking welfare or just like some other fucking leech on society. There ain't no fucking guarantee. This much. She could she could get married and pump out ten babies while living off fucking food stamps for all we fucking know. We don't know Polly. We don't know how she's actually gonna grow up to be. Bye Polly, bye, Polly. Po Polly could grow up to be a child rapist. Then then what? Then what? Those five people died for her. I've seen people like Bo like, oh my god, no, you can't kill a dog. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Listen, this dog isn't participating in like fire. You'll get burned. Canadian healthcare or something where it's picking euthanasia oh, because there's no other Let's choice. Those kids are back. Yeah, fuck this particular child. If you can get people to become dependent on this, though. Oh, great. The free travel thing seems too good to be what? true, and there are now rumors that you run a human trafficking and child <laughs> sex ring. <laughs> Apparently, if you buy our cars, they <laughs> smuggle people while you sleep. People do not like you at all. Oh no. Oh no, what am I gonna do? It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. With that said, let's finalize your training. Did I become a glowy? <laughs> ah shit! <laughs> ah shit! Fuck. <laughs> Hold on, five other people are also trying to play the area that will fit in your wrath, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. They're returning, which means they were- Immigration is a real problem. They're coming back to my country. Privileged. When returning to your country. Oh, wait, oh, oh, oh! Oh, no, fuck them. Radicals on your people, if they're a civilian of my country, I'm the president, these people are radicalized, but they're still my civilians. I still have a duty to protect them and to hold their rights to the highest degree. It doesn't matter if they're radicalized. Terrorizing must really tire a person out. Unbased? When you say these opinions are radical, which gives me the right to torture you, then I can look at anybody with a radical opinion, right? And I can say, oh, well, you're a radical. You know, you're, you're a radical, so I'm allowed to torture you. I'm allowed to take away your rights. I'm allowed to strip you of your rights. The government will just start fucking saying, like, any, any opinion is radical. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what side. Get out of my house, bitch! Do you let them stay? What? Yeah, it was my bad that I fucking agreed in a drugged out state, but like... I don't know, it's not my problem. They should have recognized the fact that I was drugged up, and they should have known that it would not be a legally binding contract because I was not in a right state of mind. Fuck you! Get out, bitch! I think this is still abortion metaphors, which, fuck you. I feel like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. I'm sure it has merit, but maybe read up on it a bit more before you start preaching to me. Oh my god, you are so unbearably annoying. You did not need to try and warp it into some fucking, like, pseudo-philosophical, pseudo-political, heavy-handed bullshit. It's the fucking trolley problem. This is like the Stanley Parables incest stepchild that you lock in a closet and you pretend doesn't exist. Please subscribe to So Zaste. I'm grooming him to become a VTuber, but he doesn't have enough parasocial relationships yet.